Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Review for November 9, 2018. Surprisingly, Trump backs Pelosi for House Speaker after Dems' midterm takeover, relishing looming rivalry. President Trump, surely hoping to use Nancy Pelosi as a political foil over the next two years, eagerly endorsed the California Democrat for Speaker on Wednesday, hours after Democrats clinched a majority in the House of Representatives. Trump said in a tweet, Pelosi deserves to be House Speaker, and even offered to help provide the votes. In a tweet, President Trump said, In all fairness, Nancy Pelosi deserves to be chosen Speaker of the House by the Democrats. If they give her a hard time, perhaps we will add some Republican votes. She has earned this great honor. Pelosi faces some resistance from the rank and file, but remains the favorite to claim the gavel in the next Congress. Already, she and her likely deputies have warned that investigations and subpoenas are coming for the Trump administration as they plan to flex their oversight authority. On Tuesday night, as it became clear Democrats would retake the House, Pelosi appeared to double down on her rhetoric, declaring that the midterms were about restoring the Constitution's checks and balances to the Trump administration. On the other side of the aisle, The Hill reports, House GOP fight begins. Jordan challenges McCarthy. Conservative Representative Jim Jordan announced his bid for the House Minority Leadership position on Wednesday, challenging Representative Kevin McCarthy, hours after Democrats regained control of the lower chamber. I plan to run for minority leader, Jordan told The Hill TV. In 2016, the American people elected Republicans to come here and change this town. I think the president is doing just that, but I don't think they see the same intensity from folks in Congress. Folks in the House of Representatives, he continued. Have we replaced Obamacare yet? Have we secured the border yet? Have we reformed welfare yet? No, we have not, he said. Jordan went on to slam current GOP leadership in the House, saying they were not willing to engage in debate with Democrats. Now that we're in the minority, that's about all we can do is debate, but fight hard in the debate for the principles, for the things that we know the American people sent us here to do in 2016. Show them that we deserve to be back in power in 2020. Earlier this year, Jordan, a co-founder of the conservative House Freedom Caucus, announced his bid to replace Speaker Paul Ryan after the Wisconsin Republican announced his retirement. Jordan has been one of President Trump's staunchest allies on Capitol Hill, frequently slamming the Justice Department and Special Counsel Robert Mueller's probe into Russia election meddling, which Trump has called a witch hunt. And finally, Jeff Sessions resigns as Attorney General at Trump's request. Jeff Sessions, one of President Trump's most loyal and trusted advisors before infuriating Trump over his recusal from the Russia investigation, has resigned as Attorney General at the request of the President. At your request, I am submitting my resignation, Sessions wrote Wednesday in a letter to Trump. The President tweeted that Matthew Whitaker, Chief of Staff to Sessions, will become the Acting Attorney General. Whitaker, according to sources, is now overseeing everything at the Justice Department, including the Russia investigation, despite calls from Democrats to recuse himself. We are pleased to announce that Matthew G. Whitaker, Chief of Staff to Attorney General Jeff Sessions at the Justice Department, will become our new Acting Attorney General of the United States. He will serve our country well. Sessions' departure from the Justice Department was not unexpected, as the President has signaled that there would be changes to his administration after the midterms. But no one faced more rumors of an imminent dismissal than Sessions. For more than a year, Trump has repeatedly lambasted Sessions over his recusal, saying he wouldn't have installed him as the country's top law enforcement officer had he known his attorney general would recuse himself from the Russia probe. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Review for November 9th, 2018. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.